I think this story, being called Lucario's Pain, is rather appropriate because it was painful to read. This is going to be a short episode, and I do apologize about it, but there's really not much to say about this story. Right, so, Lucario's Pain, the author, Aki9912. Summary. A Lucario with a dark past doesn't trust or care about anyone except for himself, and the pony that can cheer anyone up takes him on. What will be their fate? And you know it's promising when there's already a typo in the bloody author's note. They forgot to capitalize the W in what? Rated M for minor language sexual situations and rape. Minor language, my ass. Um, sexual situations, my ass. Everything, my ass. The story is... Mm. In all caps, Aki9912. Epilogue is up now. Please read no bottom at bottom when finished. So it's rated M. It's an English hurt comfort romance. Lucario, the pony, slash mini lop. Nine chapters, over 8,000 words, 71 reviews, 40 faves, 22 fav uh, follows, and it was published back in 2013. Well, updated in January of 2013. It was first published in 2012. Right, um, pretty much the summarization of the first chapter. More or less, it's about, you know, Lucario's background. He, you know, had an abusive father who would constantly rape his mother, and at one point rapes him. And this causes his mother, who is so distraught that her husband raped their child, instead of, you know, just taking the child and leaving the husband, her solution is, oh, I'm going to kill myself now. Goodbye, son. Kills herself. And then her son evolves into a weirdly colored Lucario who kicks his father's head off, and that's pretty much what happens in the first chapter. That's all I can really say, really. I didn't bother taking notes for this. I'm just going to quickly summarize each chapter for you, just so we can get it done and over with. So, second chapter, the Lucario, who was named Jason. What an interesting name for a Pokemon. Jason the Pokemon. Um, I'll have to ask Meg what she nick nicknames her Pokemon. I highly doubt she calls, calls them normal names like Jason and Mo. So, anyway, Jason here is just brooding by himself. He comes across a Lepony who's named Jenna. And she's trying to bond with him. And she... Finds him a bit later on. He's in the same spot that he was in before under a tree and it's raining. So she goes to try to talk to him again. He just uh, randomly freaks out at her thinking she's someone else and attacks her. And, you know, she kind of takes it well considering. So he accidentally breaks her umbrella by the attack. And she's like, I guess I'll have to sit with you. So they kind of bond a little bit. And she offers for him to stay at her place. And here's the bloody author's note at the end of this chapter. A.N. Jason equals Lucario. You don't say. You said it earlier in the story who Jason is. Jenna is supposed to be Lepony. Yes, I understand that. Me, the author, equals Horny. You equals dot 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 happy face. I can assure you, I do not equal a happy face. If anything, I'm equaling a frown because of how stupid your story is at this moment. There you go. A frown, not a happy face. So, that's chapter two. Chapter three. Bath and bonding. So in this chapter, the two of them are sharing a bath together and Jason gets mortifiedly embarrassed because he has a huge heart on and he has to leave the bath. And that's pretty much it. That, that's, that's pretty much it. See what I mean by there's really no substance to this story. So chapter four, we meet Jenna's ex, who is a Kangaskhan named Michael. I thought all, aren't all Kangaskhans supposed to be female though? Are they? Or can they be male? Meg will know more about it than me. But anyway, there's a male Kangaskhan who doesn't have a baby in his pouch, obviously. And he is Jenna's abusive ex-boyfriend who likes to rape her constantly. Like, he can't take no for an answer. In fact, in this chapter, he rapes her. That, that's pretty much it. He rapes her. Charming. Very charming. And, okay, might as well read the bloody author's note at the end of this story as well. It's in all caps, by the way. Eight horns, Roth to her, whatever that means. Shortly before I finished this chapter, I read the comments on chapter three, and someone wanted a Jenna slash Jason Lemons chapter. Sorry, not yet. How will I allow a spoiler alert to slip out? <laughs> slip, get it? <laughs> Chapter plans. Chapter 5, bonds. Chapter 6, our first time together. Chapter 7, future. Chapter 8, Michael causing problems. Chapter 9, prologue. Don't you mean epilogue? 
The prologue is at the beginning of the story. The epilogue is at the end of the story. Why would you put a prologue at the end of the story? I think they meant to say epilogue. That's the chapter list for the rest of the story. I said Commenter Lemon chapter is coming, is chapter six. Yeah, I'm a tease after chapter three. Well, this author is so obnoxious. So right, chapter five, which is literally bonding. He notices Jason that Jenna is acting off. So he's coming across Jenna right after she gets raped and she's being very cold and snippy with him. And then, you know, she eventually opens up to him and she pretty much tells him her entire backstory about her situation with her family. So pretty much his father, or uh, her father, well, the two of them, her parents, they like to have rough sex and stuff. So there wasn't anything bad about their relationship per se. But her mother, who spent a lot of time in prison, ended up murdering someone, so she got sentenced to death. Yes, so in this universe, it's pretty much Pokemon, but it's like the real world. Like, there's no humans, they're just like Pokemon, anthropomorphic Pokemon, walking about having jobs and whatnot. So her mother gets sent to prison, and, you know, little kid here wants to cheer her father up, so she's like, oh, I'll do with you what you and mommy used to do. And you would think a reasonable adult would be like, I don't know, that's no. But no. What he does, the father, is that he starts raping his daughter. A very, this is a very charmingly disgusting story. So she pretty much tells Jason her backstory. And then he tells her his backstory. And then he starts to change colors. Like he's now having a normal color scheme for a Lucario. And not being like weirdly black and red. Which was described, that's how he was before. So they admit their love to each other. That's how this chapter ends. So... Chapter 6, A Perfect Day, they hook up, they have sex, and then they decide to have be mates, and that's pretty much what this chapter is all about. It, it, was, it was stupid. So, Chapter 7, um, you know, they're officially a couple now, and Michael shows up, the ex. And, you know, he's implying that he wants to rape Jenna again, or Jenny, I should say, and that he's going to kill Jason. So, Jason pops in, he's like, oh, really? So, he attacks Michael, then he kicks his head off. Yes, yeah, so how Jason kills his father in the in the first chapter was that he punched his head off. Where with Michael here, he kicks his head off and then they just go about their business, him and Jenny. They go about their business as if nothing happened. It's like he just murdered someone. And apparently there's no repercussions for him doing this either. I mean, yes, Michael was a piece of shit, but it is still bloody stupid. So chapter 8, which is called The End, here's the author's note. This is the final chapter! It has been fun writing, but it is finally time to move on to the fans. Word up, read something else by me, my peros, read the new chapter. I really don't want to know what this, other per what this person's library consists of. So, you know, she thanks Jason for killing her ex, and, you know, they... Have he has a dream, Jason, that he sees his mother and his mother's very proud that he moved on and that he's having a good life, yada yada yada. He wakes up, he tells Jenna about the dream. And so chapter eight is or chapter nine, the epilogue, at least they say epilogue this time. They go and they have a couple of eggs and that's pretty much it. So again, I'm sorry that this episode's gonna be so short, but there wasn't really much to say about this bloody story. There really wasn't much to it. It's just kind of painful to read bad grammar, you know, they would have quote, a quotation mark start dialogue and then the other quotation mark would just go on a holiday and would disappear. It, it was just one of those stories. I'm very glad it was too long to read aloud because this would have been painful to read out loud. And the author's notes scattered throughout the story were just very, very obnoxious. Um, I might as well take a gander and say, excuse you, stop scratching the woodwork. Leo's misbehaving. I'm going to have to Give him some dry food soon. Meg's gearing up to mow. I have the AC off right now, but don't be surprised if it's on in the next episode because it's going to be. I'm going to try to film a few episodes today just to get it done and over with. But right now, it's not too, too bad out, and I want to make sure that the computer's charged enough so when I need to edit later, it'll be charged. So anyway, Aki9912. So this person has written five stories. The most recent story was updated back in 2015. So, yes, this was their first story that they ever wrote. So, there's Lucario's Pain. Laponi's Pain, which I guess is a, pretty much the same story, but from Jennifer's point of view. Am I beautiful? Please don't follow me. And Tales of a Beautiful Rose. 
Right. Yes. I don't care to read any of this person's other stories, to be honest. I mean, they haven't written since 2015, so I'm just going to assume that they're not going to be doing any more, or writing any more stories. And if they do come back and start writing stories again, hopefully their newer stories will be better than what I just read in today's episode. Well, if you did enjoy today's episode, please be sure to leave a like and leave a comment. And if I, you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I would greatly appreciate it. I'll see you all in the next episode. Until then, cheerio.